Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' What's Crackin' It. Today, about to react to this vid. It's titled, Black Student Confronts the Whole Class Over Racist Group Chat Messages. Damn. This, this sounds very sad, but let's see what took place. Let's watch. What? No, she's texting in the group chat talking about cotton pickers and monkeys. I don't give a f who you is, Casey. What? Why the f talking about cotton pickers and monkeys? Kaylee Kareen, a student at the University of North Florida, was heading to Bro, class. black people face so much emotional, psychological trauma, bro. Like, going to college because you're trying to get an education and you got to deal with bullshit like this is wild. As usual, on this particular day, she chose to sit at the front, though she typically sits in the back. As she settled into her seat, she noticed other students giving her odd looks, but she brushed it off. Kaylee isn't one to socialize. She just focuses on her work and leaves. Shortly after, another student named Casey, who usually sits where Kaylee was, yeah, arrived and her seemed name. upset that Kaylee First had taken the usual picture. spot. Despite the fact that there are no assigned seats, Casey tried to intimidate Kaylee by placing her books on top of hers. Kaylee calmly moved over to make room for Casey. While they were working, Kaylee was repeatedly distracted by notification sounds coming from Casey's MacBook. When Kaylee glanced oh, over, she, she was shocked to see Casey was in a group chat named Cotton Picker Monkeys. Oh my what? God. Yeah, don't. You know better not to say nothing. What? All of y'all. Anybody else? Anybody else? Y'all think we cotton pickers are monkeys too? You think that's cool? You think that's cool? You think that's cool? They should be exposed. What? What? No, she's texting in the group chat talking about cotton pickers and monkeys. I don't give a f who you is, Casey. What? She said, do you Why know who I am? About cotton pickers and monkeys. It's your wife. Talking when Kaylee confronted the other students about the racist group chat that made they her got, feel extremely... They're so disgustingly racist, they created a group chat to talk poorly about black people and to spew their racism in a group chat dedicated to racism in college where they're supposed to be... The uncomfortable. They responded in a condescending nonchalant manner look at the smirk the on his face was even seen smirking mm -hmm. expel them all i literally just woke up y'all anyway so boom i went to biology and i sat i usually sit in the back but i decided to sit in the front today to be a, a good student so i sit in the front as soon as i sit down all of her friends are looking at me like why your black ass sitting in the front so i'm like I'm literally smiling at them, like, hello, good morning. Like, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. You know, so, so I see. Sit where I want. I sit down, mind my business. I got my AirPods in and everything. Like, I literally don't talk to nobody. I mind my business. So, the girl come, and she's standing on my back, like, as if she want me to get up off this seat and let her sit down with her friends. So, I'm looking around. Then she starts putting her stuff down there on top of my shit, talking about some, just scooch in, just scooch in. So I'm like, whatever, bro. I scoot over and let her sit down. We get to taking notes in class. She opened up her MacBook. I'm literally minding my business, per usual. She started getting a message, message, message. I literally, something in my body said, look down. I look down. This is the name. This is the name of her group chat. So I'm looking at me. And I'm looking at her. So I made right. So I got up. Boom, went straight to the bathroom, called my dad because I'm like, no, I know me. I'm not about to get over. I'm not going to give her a so big much. reaction that she wanted. They Y'all all in the comments talk about some, oh, I would have did this. That's y'all. I'm not losing a degree and putting my hands on Period. somebody that I know. People are so quick to say what they would have done. Shut up. You wouldn't have done nothing. Shut up. Police on me. Like, that's just dumb. Like, come <laughs> on. But I just got so instantly irritated because I literally have been dealing with going to school with racist people forever. High school, my first college, and here. And I clocked every single person. I'm clocking them every single time. You're not going to play that with me. As soon as I'm uncomfortable, you're going to be uncomfortable. So, yeah. I was traumatized by... I went to, like, mixed schools most of my life, but... There was a short period of time where I was at this white school and when I was in middle school... Oh, that traumatized me. I'm not going to lie. So this this is a bit triggering because that it really sticks with you, the things that you experience. I'll talk about some incidents that occurred when I was there. And my mom had to even come up there and, like, check one of the, 
I don't know if she was a principal. I don't know who she was. A counselor, whatever. Uh, because of a racist comment that she made. But anyway. I went back in there and I tapped her on the shoulder asking her name so I could go report her. And then I left again. I waited outside that classroom door from 9.30 in the morning to 10.40. I stood there and waited outside that door. Went back in the class. That's when I recorded the video and kind of went off on her a little bit. And then I went back in there to ask the professor for her last name so I could go report her. And he told me he couldn't give it to me for privacy issues and that um, why can't I just sit somewhere else? Then um. he saw I wasn't playing. So he helped me go report her to the Department of Biology. But yeah, y'all, so she I need to update say, on this. You don't know me. Why do I have to know you to look at you dead in your face and see that you're Caucasian and you're talking about this and monkeys? Like, is you cool? So yeah, y'all, I've been emailing the dean. I emailed the Department of Biology. I've been emailing everybody. If they don't get back to me, then I'm, I'm not even going to tell y'all what I'm going to do. But just know I'm not letting it go because they keep Period. getting away with everything. And I'm tired of that. Like, I literally have been going through this since high school. And I'm, I'm every single time, I'm going to get it and get it and get it. I'm not playing with y'all. Like. <laughs> After Kaylee raised awareness about the situation on TikTok, the video went viral. And people quickly mm. found Casey's information, including her parents' social media accounts. Mm. Many began contacting the school repeatedly to mm. support Kaylee. The response was so overwhelming that Kaylee had to ask people to stop reaching out to the school, assuring them that action is now being taken. Let me say something real quick, because somebody just informed me that homegirl is trying to say that I'm making this up and that she is being framed. Y'all, we I only have this class. If she was making it up, then y'all would have said something when she was recording y'all. Y'all would have been like, what are you talking about? There's nothing here. Why are you making this up? What? Are you crazy? None of that took place. Y'all was all looking stupid and smug. Tuesdays and Thursdays. You caught. This is what, my third week of school? I have never spoke one word in this class. I sat at the back every single class. I don't, nobody knows me in the class. Nobody talks. So why would I choose yesterday, yesterday's class, to be the day, hmm, today's going to be the day I'm, I'm going to make a scene so people know me in this class just because. And I'm going to point her out and say that she's in a racist group chat just because. That's I so never funny. knew this girl before that. And I'm not that type of person. I'm not about to just call somebody out for nothing. But exactly. And hold on, let me show this. Okay, I'm covering the girl's, um, what's that called? Her profile picture. But y'all see right there, this girl, okay, let me read it first. Literally owned up to admitted. the group chat name. So I'm confused as to what the right story is. So that was a girl who attends this school and she DM me and said, yeah, I used to be friends with the girl and they still share mutual friends. And the mutual friend called her to tell her, take your comment down because the girl is lying. What reason would I have to lie, Bookie? And, you, and homegirl just said right there, y'all admitted to the group name. I'm screenshotting everything. Don't play with me. Y'all not about to try to flip this on me. I'm not, I'm literally not about to play with y'all. Like literally at all. Um, everybody in the comments, I, first of all, I don't know. I never knew the girl's Instagram. I just found out her name yesterday when I tapped her on the shoulder and asked her what her name was. So people find out her TikTok and Instagram and number don't have nothing to do with me. I didn't leak none of that. I didn't drop none of that. And I commented in all my videos to don't say nothing to that girl. Don't harass her or nothing. I do not condone bullying, harassment. None, I don't play like that. I don't play the games. I don't, I'm not a bully or nothing like that. But you are about to be held accountable. And now that you're trying to say that I'm lying, now I'm on that for real. I'm not playing with y'all. So, y'all, who do I need to go to? What's the highest of the highest people in college that I can go to? Because I'm not playing. Y'all not about to play with me and try to make it seem like I just chose to pick up a storyline just because. Not a storyline. Why would I make a storyline for my biology class? <laughs> I don't even know what's going on in there. I don't have no notes. Nothing. I'm trying to figure out what's going on in the class. <laughs> and I'm being distracted by a No, that's person. real though. Because science, oh, oh. <laughs> I, I'm confused. Okay. I don't even know what's going on. On the screen next to That's me. why she said in the front. Because she's trying to get a better understanding. Like, maybe if I sit closer, <laughs> I'll understand this a bit better. Like, what? That's okay, what I used so to yeah, do. Too. I just have to put that out there and say that. Because what y'all not going to do is go make it seem like I'm lying. For what? What reason would I have to lie? And why would I lie on you? Who are you for me to be lying about? Period. But yeah, like I said, y'all, don't go harass that girl. 
that's not doing nothing but being that's exactly like her. Many I don't about bullying or none of that. So, but you're not going to say I'm lying. So, yeah. Kaylee heard that Casey is telling people at school that she's lying about her. Kaylee pointed out that she's point. been attending class for three weeks now. So why would she suddenly make up a story about someone she doesn't even know? However, another student who also attends the class and was once friends with Casey confirmed that Casey did, in fact, admit to starting a racist group chat. All right, y'all. So I just had all my meetings and stuff. And before I even tell y'all what happened, well, whatever, y'all gotta stop. Y'all can stop contacting my school now. They keep, bruh, y'all. I really appreciate it. But they can't even get to working on the case, y'all, because they get an email and call and email and call back to back to back. So thank y'all, but y'all can stop contacting the school and stuff like that. All right, boom. So they really just worried about my Period. safety. See, right this now. is when I have hope. I have hope for society that we're moving in the right direction. Although we still have these horrible pieces of shit still wandering around, we have a lot of people who are not like that, who are good human beings and they know this is wrong and they don't support it. Out around campus and I'm not too much really, I was yesterday and the day before, but now I really ain't that scared. And they asked me if I wanted uh, one of the campus police or the police to walk with me. I don't want, I don't want the police to do nothing for me because people coming to me about their experiences, I'm cool. I said, I don't need the police. Anyways, y'all, so they just been worried about my safety and I'm cool, but I'm getting about that class. I, I've been trying to get out this class before the situation even happened. Like that professor, I really don't know. So I, I've been trying to get out that class. So I got me a different class. Y'all, they put me in a different room because I'm pretty sure uh, Shawty stayed in the same dorm as me. So mm. I got to go. But that means I got to give up my palace, y'all. My studio apartment palace. My palace. Uh, that's cool though whatever so i'm literally about to pack all this stuff up so i can go move into the other room like today y'all but they're probably gonna give me a new roommate anyways if i uh stay here and i don't like this dorm it's like got mold in it and it's cold in here but anyways okay so then i had a meeting with the dean and they told me that um like she basically asked me what i want what i want out of this and i said she gotta go and yeah, but if y'all can't do that since i didn't i understand that i didn't take a picture of the the group chat or whatever so it's really my word against her so if y'all not gonna get this girl up out of here i want a public apology and i want her to tell everybody what the group chat name was the purpose of the group chat because like what do y'all even talk about in there like that's smart because if she's like okay well i'll do that then then it's like okay we got you <laughs> all right now we got the evidence we got you admit to it now we can now we can really expel you what's the sole purpose of this shit like what the fuck so yeah, and then I want her to um, say that I wasn't lying. So she wanted to come and say that I was lying to her, like I'm gonna frame her, like she's somebody to frame. Yeah. So now we're just playing the waiting game, y'all. We're literally just playing the waiting game. So, and I said I wanted to meet him with her. I want to talk to her face to face, honestly. So we're playing the waiting game, y'all, to see what the school go do. But y'all mm -hmm. gotta stop calling the school. Y'all gotta stop calling the school and emailing this. They see it, y'all. They trying to work on it, but they can't because their phones being blown up. But they can still. Yeah. Work. So honestly. Playing the way the game, we're gonna see what happens. If she don't get um any type of reparations, I just need a, I want a public apology, boo. And that's that on that. So oh, and the professor, he just cut my dick. Oh, but yeah, I'm not gonna keep right, like my page is not gonna keep being about this though. So this really might be my final update about this because I, I really don't know what's gonna happen. I have to sit and wait. And they even told me that I probably might not know the outcome that do happen. So I'm really just trying to see if I can get a meeting with Shawty to see what happened. So this is my mm. final update, y'all. The school is handling it. The school is taking it serious and handling it. So y'all don't gotta go text the school or nobody no more. It's getting taken care of. I really appreciate everybody for um, reaching out to them though and doing what y'all did because yeah, it is that serious. Put and, pressure on them. Yeah. So, but yeah, y'all, it's getting handled and everything. So last update, I'm going back to my normal content. Thank y'all. Currently, there are no further updates on the situation. I'm glad that she exposed this and that it went viral and people put pressure on the school to do something. So hopefully they expel her at some point because this is messed up. Like people go to college to, you know, get their education, get their degree and get up out of there. They shouldn't have to go to class and, and face racism and discrimination when they're minding their business. It's just so disgusting and so messed up. Um, and yeah, like I said, this stuff hunts you for the rest of your life. I still remember, you know, racism that I encountered when I was in middle school. It wasn't like directly to where people were saying racist things to me, but it was just a lot of microaggressions, if you will. And because I started to pick up on these issues, I start acting out, okay? <laughs> I start popping off on the teachers, snapping on the other students, 
getting up, walking out when I wanted to, I start acting out because I didn't like how I was being treated. And, you know, being a child, I didn't know how to express that properly. So, you know, it, it angered me. It made me mad. Um, so, you know, I'm getting in trouble left and right. And it got to a point where my mom had to come up to the school to talk to someone. I want to say she talked to the principal or somebody. And I'll never forget, we're sitting in this damn meeting. And this white lady who was talking to my mom looks her dead in her face and was like, yeah, you know, sometimes these things do happen. You know, behavior issues occur when the father isn't present in the home. And my mom was like, where'd you get that from? Like, what are you talking about? Her dad is present. We're married. She sees her dad every day. And the lady's like, oh, uh, uh, stuttering. And I'm like, and I'm young. I'm probably like in the seventh grade. But I knew that she was saying that because we're black. And she's just assuming that because we're black, this must, my mom must be a single mother. She must be on welfare, a single mother, and, and she don't know who my daddy is. And he off selling drugs in the streets. And I don't see him. And I'm like, to fix your face and say that is crazy. Oh, yeah, you know, she ain't got no daddy. So that's why she acted out. Bitch, <laughs> I see my daddy every day. What are you talking about? So, yeah, it was just little shit like that. I don't even call that little, but it was like indirect. Like, it wasn't like nobody called me the N-word or anything like, you know, this is more extreme than what I've ever, you know, encountered. But it was like stuff like that um, that I, I picked up on. Like, even though I was, I was young, I was old enough to know that they were discriminating against me and treating me a weird way or thinking weird things about me just based on me being black. So, that that stuff does stick with with people you know and it's it's fucked up because nobody should have to endure this at school you know where they're trying to learn like everybody else so yeah i hope this girl does get expelled and something happens because not cool y'all let me know what y'all think though let me know what other videos you want to watch and i'll see y'all in the next one Bye.